This visual mnemonic is about Shigella. So, this mnemonic is about a shy boy, so which will remind you that this is about Shigella bacilli. First of all, the reddish walls represent that this is a gram negative bacilli. In front of the mirror, you can see the arm of a man. So, man will remind you of mannitol. So, these Shigella species are mannitol fermenters, but except the Shigella dysentery species, which is an exception and is mannitol non fermenting. In addition to this, Shigella dysentery is also an exception in being catalase negative. So, you can see a cat sleeping. This will remind you that all Shigella species are catalase positive except the Shigella dysentery species. There is a green bucket with bathroom supplies in it. So, it will remind you that Shigella causes diarrhea. And also there is a red paint bucket beside it which will remind you that there is bloody diarrhea or Shigella causes dysentery. In the bucket, you can see there is a pair of gloves which signify fingers and there are flies over the bucket. Also, the cat has uh, spilled a glass of drink which will remind you of food and water. So, these all uh, represent the modes of transmission of Shigella that is fingers, flies, food and water and feces. In front of the mirror, you can see the man is flexing his arm. The flexed arm represents the species Shigella flexneri, which is the most common cause of bacillary dysentery in India. And also on the arm, you can see the tattoo of a sun. So the sun represents the species Shigella sonii, which is the most common cause of bacillary dysentery in the world. Also, the mirror represents M cells, which help in the entry of Shigella in the intestinal mucosa. The tuxedo hanging on the wall represents that Shigella produces toxin. It produces the Shiga toxin and both exotoxin and endotoxin. You can see hanging light bulbs, which somewhat look like brain. These actually represent toxic encephalopathy related with shigellosis, which has a specific name called Ekiri syndrome. Looking at the arms of the man, you can pretty much guess he is a bodybuilder. So he takes detox water, which you can see on the table, and medications which are lying on the floor. The glass with the drink represents that there is dehydration as a metabolic complication, which requires replacement of fluids. The lemon beside the glass represents that Shigella is acid stable and thus requires a very low infective dose of about 10 to 100 bacilli to produce infection. Lastly, the medications lying on the floor represents that for the treatment of Shigella infection, we require antibiotics and the drug of choice among the antibiotics is ciprofloxacin. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, do check out the other videos of the Bacteriology Mnemonic series and do not forget to subscribe.